the Evora Full Mask, a soft silicon seal. That works in combination with our frame and our stability wings. It's super soft and super comfortable, but when they move around at night, those stability wings, they keep the geometry of the seal and they stop it becoming unstable. So with full face masks, um, they, they fit over your nose and around your mouth. So what we were trying to address with Evora Full was to have a more comfortable solution, less intimidating, it's smaller, fitting underneath their nose and avoiding the nose bridge altogether. People are gonna find that really comfortable. It's gonna seal really well. It gives them an alternative to an over the nose mask. The low profile of the mask makes it stay in place really well while you're wearing it to really promote uh, mask stability while you're sleeping, allowing a bit of freedom of movement while you're in bed. And it also opens up the field of view. You haven't got anything encroaching on your vision and allows you to wear glasses while wearing the mask. With the three different seal sizes of the Evora Full mask, we didn't simply just scale them larger and smaller to get the three different sizes. We tried to make sure that they would fit um, a wide variety of people. People have all sorts of different nose shapes, different curvatures, and it is quite difficult to design something that does seal well for the majority of the population and still be comfortable. We spent a lot of time with patients really up close, seeing how the geometry fitted around the nose. We looked at a lot of different ethnicities as well to, to come up with our three sizes that cover a large percentage of the population. The reason that we use such a rigorous testing approach here is that we need to make sure the mask is safe for the patient to use. Therefore, we have to make sure all parts withstand certain forces and when it's used in the home for a certain amount of time that everything still functions as it should. We had to connect and disconnect the connection points about over a thousand times and we had to see if there's any unforeseen wear and tear on the part. We're always trying to find the absolute limits in how the users would use the mask. In the usability lab, we will go through how to disconnect and connect the mask, how to um, clean it, how to set up the headgear to connect the headgear the most easiest way and how they can put them on themselves and yeah, show the ease of it. We work with suppliers all across the world looking for the best manufacturing equipment that we can get. So we have an ultrasonic welding process integrated with leak testing on the frame assembly and that ensures that 100% of the frames are tested. With a product like Evorafil that's optically critical to get those nice clear products, we use robots to remove the parts from the mold tools and avoid scratches. What we're looking to do is really make the same product over and over again as consistently as possible so the user experience is the same for all. So we've just finished the validation of the Evorafil mask and from that trial we found that over 90% of participants found the mask stable and almost everybody found that the mask was compact on the face. Care by Design, it really is about empathizing. We want them to be able to feel confident and know what they're doing every single time they put their mask on. It's all about the patient. It is how can we improve their lives, how can we make it better for them. The difference that your products can make, you really connect with those people. Everything that we do, you know, it has to benefit the patients.